Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the displacement map effect to animate and displace your text. So I've got two things open on the timeline right now, a text layer and a video layer that I want to use as the displacement map. In this case, it's just a video of some water ripple reflection. So we've got some cool color and animation happening. However, you can use any video clip and you can also use any effects that you generate in Premiere. So not only can it just be a raw video, I can also generate, let's say, some fractal noise from the effects panel and I can add keyframes or expressions that animate this and we can use that as a displacement map as well. But to begin, in this case, I'm just going to grab my text tool from scratch. I'll write out my text. So I'll just write out displace. If you want to get it in the center, you can go to the align panel and here I can center it horizontally and vertically. And then I also have another, the video clip that I want to use in the project media panel. So I can drag that in and I can just hide and mute that layer. So it's not visible, but we can still use the information from that layer. Now on the displace text layer, I'm going to go to the effects and presets panel and find the displacement map effect in the distort video effects folder. This is going to allow me to choose a displacement map layer here in the effects control panel. And it'll give me a selection of layers and I'm going to choose that video clip. So that's named MVI 661 and by default, it'll displace it five pixels horizontally and vertically based on the red and green color channels. But if you had different colors or shapes, you could choose to displacement displace it based on different things like saturation, lightness, etc. And you can increase the strength of that displacement. So you can increase it horizontally or vertically. If the map is bigger than the composition size, you can tile it or stretch the map over. Let's say you're working with 1080p and 4K different footages. And you also have options to wrap the pixels around or expand them out a little bit. So I'm just going to keep that at default. But when I play that back, you'll see no keyframe involved or nothing. It's just taking the information from this layer and using it to displace the text layer. So it's a really quick but un cool way to create unique and individual animations and displacements. If you want to check out another tutorial I've done all about much more examples on the displacement map, using it to animate still photos, textures, and more, you can check that out on my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.